this case is big and heavy. I think it's the biggest case on the market. And of course I bought it because I like it big and heavy. You know when you're ordering something from a website and everything arrives except one component? That one component. And you wait for days, weeks or even months for that component looking at the empty space, gaming right now or even watching some videos for research purposes. Well, I was in this situation as well. I had everything delivered except the case. So I just assembled everything on a box actually on this chair to see if everything is working and if all the components are okay with each other. Yo motherboard, yes GPU, are you okay with me? Yes, I'm okay with you. Okay, let's work together then. Today I will show you how to build your own PC with my Eastern European accent and my Dracula's hairstyle. The components that I chose for my build are, I'm gonna read it from a laptop because I can't remember it. Asus ROG Maximus 11 Hero Z390 motherboard, i7 9700K CPU. The cooling for the CPU I chose Alpha Cool Elizabeth 420. For graphics card I chose Asus RTX 2018, that's the one with free fans, Corsair Vengeance RGB memory, uh, Samsung 970 EVO M.2, EVGA Supernova G3 750 watts power supply, and Thermal Take Core X9 case to make sure that I can fit inside as well. And as a monitor, after long, long hours of research, the best for gaming and work. Acer Predator XB271HU with 27-inch diagonal, 2K, 165Hz, G-Sync and IPS monitor. Monitor? Panel. And IPS panel. Let's get to the busy then. Before taking out anything from the boxes, make sure you buy one of these or just tie a wire onto your leg and make sure it touches the power supply at all times so you don't produce any static shock which will damage any electronic component. First, you need to install the CPU, the cooling for the CPU, the M.2 and the RAM because it's easier when the motherboard is outside of the case. Put the motherboard on its own box and lift up the retention arm. Align the CPU's cutouts to the motherboard knobs. Put it into the place and wiggle a little bit. But don't press on it because the motherboard has small pins that can be bent very easily. The CPU can only align only in one position, so don't worry. Pull down the retention arm back to its original place. It will feel like you need to use a lot of force, but don't worry, it's normal. Next, install the Intel backplate like that. Only if my hands or shake is so hard. Squeeze a piece size of thermal paste on the CPU. Screw the radiator on the case. With the M.2 it's really really easy, just unscrew the two screws from the motherboard, install the M.2, it can go only one way, peel the plastic and screw back together. For some motherboards there is only one screw. If you have 4 RAM cards, don't worry about this, but if you have two, make sure that you put the cards into the right slots to make the most of it. Every motherboard is different, so you need to consult the manual for this. For this particular motherboard, I need to slide it into the second and the fourth slot. Pull down the tabs, make sure that you line up the notch of the RAM with the motherboard and press on both sides firmly. Take the three panels off the case for access. Now first install the power supply with all the cables that you need plugged. With this case, I can remove the motherboard tray. Regardless, you just need to align the screw holes from the motherboard to the ones on the tray and screw all together. Plug in the motherboard cable over here, the CPU cable over here, the extra 4 pins that you see here are only if you put more than one GPU. Now connect all the fans that you have, here and here in my case. Make sure that the CPU fan is connected to the CPU pins written on the motherboard. In my case, is the radiator fan. As well, connect the power button, lights, and USBs. And for the cherry on top, the GPU. Remove from the back side of the case one or two metal plates, depending on the GPU. Push down the tab and gently push the GPU into the motherboard. Screw the GPU and connect it to the power supply. 
Now that the easy part is over, it's time for cable management. This implies hiding all the cables so that your PC will look gorgeous. This is a meticulous process that it depends on you how you do it. Now put all the panels on and admire how a new life is born. I'm personally going to use this PC for video editing, playing games and occasional streaming. To update this PC as the time goes by with custom water cooling, better CPUs, more GPUs maybe. Now is the best part of the video that everyone is skipping. Subscribe if you want, like, dislike and thank you for watching. Easy.